Everybody, you gotta stop watching from the outside. You know that feeling when you walk past a fancy restaurant? Everyone inside is having an amazing time. The energy is incredible. But you're standing outside, you're looking through that window. You wanna go in, but you never did. And that's exactly what's happening on YouTube right now. You're watching your favorite creators build their YouTube channels, they're living the dream. They're making millions of dollars doing what they love. Now you want that life, and maybe you've been thinking about doing YouTube for years. You've been looking through that window and maybe you're thinking, I'm too old or I'm not good enough or YouTube is too crowded. And that's exactly where I was back then. You know, I spent years overthinking and asking myself those exact questions. What will my friends think of me? Do I look good enough on camera? Am I gonna be able to make money on YouTube? But you know what? I decided to start my channel anyway and it turned out that all those things are actually just complete nonsense. And I can tell you that starting this channel was one of the best decisions I made. Because it turned out that YouTube is not as saturated as people say. Because my channel is able to grow to 85,000 subscribers in just 12 months. And it turned out that you don't need to spend many years uploading hundreds of videos to make money on YouTube. Because my YouTube channel got monetized in just 30 days and with just 4 videos on the channel. And the crazy thing is that it was able to hit $10,000 a month just on the 4th month on YouTube. Now, I'm not saying that to flex on anybody, but I just want to give you guys some context. And if people are telling you that YouTube is saturated, that is clearly not the case. Now, I'm telling you guys, it's not too late because I literally just started this channel last year. Now, I got to be honest with you, this is not my first YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for a number of years. I started YouTube with faceless channels back in 2018. Now, I made pretty good money with those channels, but you know, one big downside with faceless channels or what they call YouTube automation channels is that they're not sustainable. Yes, you can make some money very quickly, but because you're relying 100% on AdSense, which is based on the number of views you get, you don't have any control of your income because you can't control the YouTube algorithm. Now, if your goal is just to make some quick wins, it's totally doable. But if you want to build something that generates consistent income month after month, I think relying on AdSense is a dangerous game to play because I made this mistake myself and that's why I pivoted and launched my personal brand channel in 2023. And with this new channel, I also used a new strategy because I found that there's actually a new way to run profitable YouTube channels without ever having to go viral. And you can even do it even if you have a small audience. Now, this is not just a theory because I did this myself on this channel. I took this channel from zero to 10 K a month in just four months with less than 5,000 subscribers. And today, which is about 10 months later, the channel is bringing in about 35K a month consistently. And that's without having to upload hundreds of videos. Because if you look at my channel, I only have about 50 videos uploaded. And guess what? AdSense is just a small 5-10% of my total income. By the way, if you guys want to see the full breakdown on how my channel makes money and how much I make from each revenue source, you can check it out in my free school community. It's about 90 minutes of content where I reveal all my data and my backend analytics. So I can't fit all that in this video. So if you guys wanna see what I did, it's gonna be in the classroom tab and you can access it right away. It's completely free and I'm gonna make sure that I have a link for you down below. Now the big question is how was I able to get my channel to take off that quickly with just a small audience? Cause I had less than even 5K subscribers when I was hitting $10,000 a month. Now most people when they hear about making money on YouTube, the first thing they think about is AdSense. You know, the ad revenue you earn by having views on your videos. So the more views you get, the more money you make. And this was how I used to think as well. That's why I created Faceless Channels. One of the channels I created was in the true crime niche. And I specifically picked that niche because of the insane number of views some of these channels are getting. And, and five, six years ago, there was not a lot of channels around this niche. So there was a huge demand, but not a lot of supply. And new channels were just blowing up. So I started my own channel and my number one focus was for my videos to go viral because I need the views. And yes, my videos went viral, got millions of views. On average, I got about 500K views for every video. And I made a bit of money. Pretty good money actually, but it didn't last too long. In the beginning, in the first two months, I was able to make about 15K, but the following month it dropped to 2,000 and it plateaued to around 1,500 a month. I mean, 1,500 is not a small change by any means, but you can see how volatile that is. And you can't rely on this if you have bills to pay. And because it was an entertainment channel, the income is limited to just ad revenue. Now, can you make a lot of money with AdSense? Sure, but remember AdSense revenue is based on the number of views you get. So you'll tend to focus on trying to go viral on every video, which is just not possible. Because let's be real, we're not Mr. Beast with a huge budget and a production team. And plus the YouTube algorithm always changes. So the videos that you think will go viral sometimes don't. So you're relying heavily on factors that you can't control. And you can't create a business around that. At least not a business that I want to be in. So now the question is, how can you generate five figures a month on YouTube without ever having to go viral? And the answer to that is, you got to treat YouTube 
as a business. So what do I consider a business? First, you gotta understand the definition of a business. So the definition for that is a business sells a product or a service to a customer. Now, if you are a YouTuber chasing views for ad revenue, that's not a business. Because the real business is actually YouTube. They are selling a product to their customers. And what is the product? Ad space. And if you think about it, you the YouTuber, you're actually building the product for them because you're the one cranking out hundreds of videos while YouTube just sits back and watch the whole thing run itself. Or think about it like the newspaper business. So in that scenario, you are probably a reporter or a writer working for that newspaper. You don't own the newspaper. You have zero control on how many readers they get. No idea on how much revenue they're making. You just write articles and you get paid. Now the newspaper agency is the business and you are the contractor. Now most YouTubers think that they are working for themselves. Oh, I have my own channel. I'm not working in an office, a nine to five, but really YouTube owns the platform. They set the rules, they control the algorithm and they decide how much ad revenue you get. They are the business and you are just the contractor. So what is the smart thing to do instead? You gotta shift on how you view YouTube. So instead of working for YouTube, you gotta make YouTube work for you. You gotta create a business where you sell a product or a service to solve problems for your audience, then use YouTube to market your business. Think of YouTube as a marketing channel. It is just a medium that you can use to reach your customers. Just like any other social media platforms like Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. These are all channels to reach more of your customers. So for example, let's say you are a fitness trainer. So instead of thinking on how to create the next viral workout video, you wanna create each video to provide value, but you're also gonna highlight that you have a personalized fitness program to help your audience even further. And maybe at the end of each video, you provide a link for your audience to a website where they can sign up for your program. So even if your videos don't get millions of views, it is still driving traffic to your product, which will convert to sales. And many times the sales for your products will make you way more money than YouTube ad revenue. Because like I mentioned before, ad revenue is just a small part of my income. Because most of my income comes from selling my own products and services and also brand sponsorships. Now, another benefit of this is diversification. When you're relying just on AdSense, you're putting all your eggs in one basket. So if YouTube one day decides to demonetize your videos, you're done. Or if your views drop, you're also done. But when you have a business that YouTube is promoting, you're not stuck with AdSense. You've got multiple streams of income. You might have online courses, brand deals, coaching services, digital products, or even physical products. YouTube ad revenue becomes just one part of your income strategy, but not your entire business model. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't monetize your YouTube channel through ads, but it just means that ad revenue is not your primary focus. It just becomes a nice bonus on top of the revenue that your business generates. So just to recap, you wanna use YouTube as a marketing tool for your business. And when you do this, every video has a purpose beyond just getting views, because now you have products or services to sell. So if you're a creator or you wanna become a creator on YouTube, this is the mindset shift that I want you guys to have because this is exactly how I run my YouTube business. I help people solve problems through my videos and then I create products and services to help them even further. And that's how the channel is able to bring in about $35,000 a month with a relatively small audience. Now, obviously $35,000 a month is not an insane amount by any means. There are many other creators who make way more money than that. But the point here is that YouTube is not saturated because I did it and reaching this milestone in 12 months, I think it's pretty good in my opinion, especially from somebody who doesn't have any social media accounts and I'm not running any paid ads. So everything is organic. So if I can do it with the right strategies, I believe you can too. So if you guys wanna learn the right way on how to grow a YouTube channel, make sure you join my school community. And just a disclaimer, this is not just another community teaching you on how to get views on YouTube, but our mission here is to help creators build a YouTube channel that can generate consistent income for months or even years. And look, we're just about 60 days away from the end of the year. And believe it or not, you can actually do a lot of things in 60 days. So if you wanna stop being that person who's always looking in from the outside and actually achieve something, Make sure you take action, not next week, not tomorrow, but today. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.